I'm Britt, you're on 1700, and today I'm talking to Jeremy and Kyle from Comeback Kid. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> so this is your fifth time in Australia. What do you, do you like it down here? Well, it's one of those things where we always try to come down when it's really cold in Canada, because uh, <laughs> I think I the city we're from, it's probably about like minus 20 Celsius right now, so... You know, it always, it's, it's like, here. exactly, so it's, you know, with this kind of weather, you know, how can you not want to come down here every year, so. <laughs> I think four out of five of them have been the summer. We did one in April. Did we? It's a little chilly. Oh, yeah. Sick of it all. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You're here for Soundwave, one of our big summer festivals, and it's got a pretty massive lineup this year. Like, back, Jeremy, when you were in figure four and, you know, creating Comeback Kid as, like, a side project, did you think that this would be the band where you'd be playing alongside Faith No More and Jane's Addiction? Yeah, well, it's kind of, like, when we started the band, uh, you know, it was just, what, just a couple of us that just kind of wanted to... You know, do it for fun. I don't think we really had like you know any sort of set goals or plans or whatever. We, you know, had our demo that we you know kind of handed out here and there, and then it, things just kind of took off. So yeah, I mean, to be playing like festivals with you know these kind of bands is kind of kind of weird looking back. You know, just to, you know how we started with no real real plans. It was just like you know just doing it for fun. So yeah, it's it's crazy. Now you guys, a couple of years ago, you had a live CD DVD that you brought out called uh, Through the Noise. Now, how was it doing a live CD and a live recording? Was that diff was it different to how you'd normally do a live show, or did you just try and capture the real essence of performing live? Yeah, I think that's all we really wanted to do. Is just like uh, we're a, we're a live band, so we just really wanted to capture just you know what you know what we do. You know, yeah. it wasn't any sort of production. You know, I don't think we have the talent to do that. Yeah, we we're we're a mess as is. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, if we could just kind of capture just what we uh, do on stage, that's all we really wanted to do, you know, because we can't choreograph anything, you know. <laughs> and after the release of that, you toured Europe, you went around Canada, you went around South America for the first time. How was it down there? Do they appreciate your music? Oh, it was insane. Like, yeah, like, absolutely. We, like, playing places like, uh, like Chile and, you know, Sao Paulo, Bogota, Colombia, like, kids are just... Like, they're insane down there. They, they, like, bands don't tour down there as much as, you know, like the usual runs in Europe. And I think Australia is almost becoming a more, um, you know, to go to place where, you know, bands are coming a lot. But South America still doesn't get bands as, as much as some of those other places. So kids just, yeah, they, they, you know, they wait for so long. And, you know, when it happens, they go off. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. They definitely appreciate it. That's good. So you think you'll go back there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, it works. Like, we're, we're working on a new record right now, so um, yeah, once that comes out, we definitely want to hit all the places that we've been to before, definitely get back to South America, yeah. So it's going to have been three years since your last, uh, you know, last LP, so what are you working on for the new one? Is it a different sound, or are you still using the same, still, still going to... I don't know. I, yeah, it's it's one of those things that I think you kind of, like, as as a band, you kind of have to keep in mind that sometimes a band becomes bigger than you, you know, so you sort of have certain expectations you have to live up to, but at the same time, you don't want to box yourself in, right? Yeah. So anybody that's familiar with our three records, it all sounds like Comeback Kid, but none of them sound like, you know, the other one. So some people might want, you know, Wake the Dead Part 2 or Turn Around Part 2. It's not going to happen. Yeah. But it's definitely, you'll definitely hear stuff off of all those kind of records, but it's just, it's just, it's I'd like to think, it's, it's a progression just from, you know, where we were when we were writing, you know, lots of broadcasting stuff, yeah. But nothing crazy. It's not going to sound like a different band, but you know, it won't sound the same as anything. So. That's good. So it's still the same comeback kid, right. but you know, with something still new and exciting right. for the yeah. fans. I would say it's happier. It's not as dark. Yeah, it's not very sad. Yeah. I smile a lot more when I'm playing the song, so yeah, I think it's happier. That's good. Does that makes sense. Not to be confused with poppier, though. <laughs> not poppy. No, no, no. <laughs> What other plans have you got coming up over the year ahead? So you go, are you going to sit down and record? Are you going to, you know, go into the studio and record the album? Is that happening? Right. Actually, right after this tour, we fly straight to Toronto, and uh, yeah, we just have some some studio time there for about four or five weeks or whatever it is, and uh, yeah, we're just going to record that. After that, we're going to be heading out with uh, Set Your Goals for for a while, and uh, then we'll, we're just going to wait for the new record to drop. And once that happens, we're going to be uh, 
on the road a lot. That's great. Um, thank you so much for chatting to us today. Great. It's thank been great. Much. Thanks for having us. And yeah, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.